And we're back. During the second intermission, you will learn how the rules of geometry apply to hockey and how statistics allow coaches to track their players' performances. So far, we have made it through two periods. Hockey games consist of three periods. That means we are two-thirds, or 66.66% of the way through the game. Unless, of course, we head into overtime. But before we go into the statistics, let's take some time to learn how geometry affects the game. To start or resume play, an official drops the puck into the center of the circle between two opposing players. The geometry of the circle is a closed curve with all points on the curve the same distance from the center. And the distance away from the center point out to the boundary is called the radius. The radius of an ECHL face-off circle is 15 feet. If you double the radius, that is going to be the other diameter, which goes from one end of the circle all the way to the other and passes through the center. That is the diameter. Now look at the two blue lines that run across the ice, dividing it into three zones. The neutral zone is another common geometric shape, a quadrilateral or four-sided shape. Since it has two pairs of parallel sides, it's also a parallelogram. And since the sides are at right angles, more on that later, it's a rectangle. Other geometric shapes are painted on the ECHL rank. Truncated semicircles, half circles with the ends cut off, in front of each net are called goal creases. As for the puck itself, it's an example of a solid three-dimensional geometry. Take a circle, add the dimension of height, and you get a geometric shape called a cylinder. Now let's take a look at all of this from another angle. Angles are a fundamental part of hockey and geometry. What is an angle? Think of two straight lines or rays that start at the same point. Now imagine a circle laid over it with the center of the circle at the point. The angle measures the arc in degrees. One complete cycle around is 360 degrees. Check your workbook. How many degrees would be a half circle? That's right, 180 degrees is the correct answer. Now, since you seem to have the hang of it, what would a quarter of a circle be? Let's divide 360 by four. Go ahead and fill in the answer in your workbook. That's right, 90 degrees. Angles that are 90 degrees are called right angles. Angles that are larger than 90 degrees but smaller than 180 degrees are called obtuse angles. Good example, what kind of an angle is created between the shaft of the hockey stick and the blade? I'll give you a hint. It's usually around 135 degrees. Obtuse. Hey Cyclones fans, Nick Brunker here again. I hope you're enjoying the game so far. There is still plenty more great hockey to come, but this is my last chance to say thank you one last time for coming out to see a great hockey game and learn some cool stuff in the process. We really hope you've had a great time today learning about geography, science, and math. Please remember to hold on to your workbooks so that you can turn them into your teacher on the bus. Have a great and safe trip back to school, and we hope to see you here for a future Cyclones hockey game. Go Cyclones!